In this segment, we'll show you how to install and cable the VTRAC G1100 NAS clustered gateway onto a standard rack. If you've racked a 1U server before, this will be easy. The VTRAC G1100 comes with all the hardware you need for rack mounting as well as an easy to follow quick start guide. Inside the box you will find the VTRAC G1100, a 1.5 meter power cord, a sliding rail assembly for rack mounting and associated hardware, the front panel bezel cover, and the quick start guide. We've already installed the rails on the rack for this demo, but we'd like to point out to you that you should install the safety clips on the G1100. These prevent the unit from accidentally falling when you slide it out of the rack. We've already installed one G1100, so let's install the second one. As a side note, the G1100 will first ship with dual node support, but future releases will be eight node capable per cluster. The G1100 cluster is now installed, so let's look at the back of the unit and cable it up. For our setup, we have a one gigabit ethernet switch for metadata network, a 10 gigabit ethernet switch for data network, a fiber channel switch for fiber connected clients, the G1100 NAS cluster, a VTRAC A-class RAID head, a VTRAC expansion chassis, and a Sandlink 2 Thunderbolt to 10 gigabit ethernet adapter. As you can see, everything is cabled up except for the NAS cluster gateway. Please reference the prior level one training videos for VTRAC A-class hardware and cabling procedures. Now, let's take a look at the G1100 interconnects. Although seldom used given that we use the VTRAC A-class GUI for all management, the following four interconnects are used for diagnostic purposes during servicing. The PS2 connection, the VGA interface, four USB 3 ports, and one 1 gigabit ethernet port. The main interconnects on the G1100 unit are as follows. Two redundant 450 watt power supplies, two 10 gigabit ports for ethernet connected clients, four one gigabit ethernet ports for metadata traffic, and two eight gigabit fiber channel connections for interfacing with the VTRAC A-Class. So let's get started with cabling. First, the two power cables. Next, connect the 10 gigabit ports to the 10 gigabit switch. In order to ensure maximum performance, you'll need to use a CAT6 or greater cable. Now, connect the four one gigabit port to the one gigabit switch. Finally, connect the two eight gigabit fiber channel ports to the fiber channel switch. Repeat these steps for the second G1100. One important note, in our setup, we're cabling with a fiber switch. You can also connect the G1100 directly to the VTRAC A-Class. We're now gonna connect our workstation to the 10 gigabit ethernet switch using the Sandlink 2. Now let's get this system up and running. Our network and storage units are powered on. We'll power on both VTRAC G1100s. Press the power button on the front of each unit and check the power LED. It should be green. Allow one to two minutes to boot. When all the LEDs are green, we're ready to manage the VTRAC G1100 from the web management interface. Your system hardware setup and cabling is now complete. In our next video, we'll cover initial software setup between the VTRAC G1100 and a client.